Boy, oh boy, do I have some updates for you on the Trump shooter. So as you can see here, his name is Thomas Matthew Crooks. We went over that the other day. He's 20 years old. He's from Pennsylvania. And uh, we just learned a little bit more about him. So again, I should point out up front that there were a few pictures and videos floating around where people were saying, hey, this is him. And it wasn't. It was somebody who looked like him who was trolling. And by the way, that person immediately regretted it and pulled down the picture in the video and was like, holy shit, I'm cooked. Why would I do this, right? Um, so the picture of a guy in a blue shirt where you see the profile, it looks exactly like this guy, but that's not him. Okay, there's also a video of the guy recording himself in his car saying like, I hate Republicans and don't try me. I'm not the one or something to that effect. That's also not him. Okay, uh, now that being said, there are some pictures of him that actually are real. So here are... The picture's here. So the media got a hold of him. This is him when he was younger. You know, this is him in school. Um, so you could see what he looks like here. This is a picture of him recently. This is a picture of him from the day of, I think. Um, and I mean, I'm not, I don't want to be too much of an asshole, but then again, who cares? I'm a big asshole to like a mass shooter, right? <laughs> but if I own a gun store and homie walks in on site alone, I'm nah, nah, dog, you ain't getting a gun. <laughs> nah, you look like the type. Let's just say you look like the type. Oh, am I discriminating against you? I don't give a fuck. You ain't getting a gun, dog. Now, to be fair, he actually didn't uh, purchase the gun himself that he used. The reporting is that it was his dad's gun, and his dad had legally bought it, and he took his dad's gun. Oh, which, again, you know, gets to an interesting question about some states have laws where you're mandated to lock up your gun so that other people can't get to them, can't use them, Right. It, it, theoretically, could that have prevented this kid from getting his hand on a gun? Possibly. He doesn't look like the type to have connections to get a gun on the black market, right? It seems like he would have to know somebody and take their gun. And if it was forced to be locked up, he didn't know the code, you know, maybe this all could have been avoided, right? But um, anyway, so again, uh, Thomas Matthew Crooks, 20 years old, from Pennsylvania. All right, let me give you more. Suspected Trump shooter was once rejected from high school rifle club Two former team members tell ABC. Quote, he was asked not to come back because how bad of a shot he was. It was considered, like, dangerous, said one of the team members. Reality is stranger than fiction, bro. Reality is stranger than fiction. Kicked out of the high school gun club because he had a terrible shot. Goes on to try to assassinate a former president and misses. As I pointed out, guys, 130 yards, which was about how long this shot was, for a good marksman, that's nothing. That's nothing, bro. Not only that, if he had a if he had like a 30 odd six, he probably would have been able to get Trump, right? It's the weapon that he used. It was an AR style rifle. It's the fact that it was 130 yards and the wind was blowing, and that he's not the best shot, right? I mean, Jesus, Jesus. All right, more for you. Now we went through this the other day, but I just want to re up it. So in January 2021, this guy donated to a progressive PAC. Now, having said that, Ryan Grimm has come out with reporting about this specific PAC that he donated $15 to. And come to find out, the PAC is kind of like a scam. Like, they do all these weird, slimy, weaselly tactics to try to force people to donate to them. And it's very possibly... It's very possible that he ended up doing that, not even realizing he did it. One of the things that they do is they'll send you something that looks like a bill. And so he may have seen something that looks like a bill, and he felt like, oh, I have to pay this, and then he paid it. And that could be what the $15 donation is. That's totally possible. It's also possible he knew damn well what he was uh, giving money to. But again, it was like a scammy progressive pack. Okay, so that's January 2021, when he's 17 years old, by the way. Then we have October 2021. He's 18. He registers as a Republican. In November 2022, 19 years old, voted as a Republican. Okay. And then, of course, July 2024, tried to kill Trump while wearing a, a gun YouTuber's t-shirt. Now, uh, Socked on Left here says it's a right-wing gun YouTuber's t-shirt. That's actually not my understanding. My understanding is that this particular channel that he was wearing the gun shirt of, they're actually very, very apolitical. They're gun enthusiasts. They love guns. But 
very apolitical from what I've read about it. And, and one of my sources on that is um, Jared Holt, who's also a journalist. He says he's very familiar with this content. I believe for Right Wing Watch, he would dig into all every nook and cranny of the right wing online media sphere. And he says they really weren't political. They really weren't political. Let's move on to this. So Trump shooter Thomas Matthew Crooks, his friend, not his friends, but his classmates were interviewed um, in high school and um, from high school, I should say. And I mean, this is going to be kind of like the least shocking thing you've ever heard in your life, what they explained. But here we go. I didn't have any interaction with him, but he was uh, like a kid that was always alone. He was always bullied uh, every day. He was just an outcast. Uh, yeah. I mean, he would sit alone at lunch. I mean, he was just an outcast. And you know how kids are nowadays. So they're going to see someone like that and they're going to target him because they think it's funny or whatever. So it's the best way I can describe it. And it's honestly kind of sad. Like, I don't want to say this is what provoked it, but you never know. And you said he was a loner? Yeah. Um, I want to say he was a loner more because he was just, he was quiet, but like he was just bullied. Like he was bullied so much, so much. He was just made fun of, I guess, for the way he dressed or his appearance. How do you dress? Uh, like they were just saying jeans. He'd wear hunting outfits sometimes. Uh... I, he would always wear a mask, even after COVID, he, he wore a mask. So there you go, man. There you go. I mean, that's literally the thing you hear after every single mass shooting, right? The person was a loner, they were bullied, they never talked to anybody, they dressed weird, they got made fun of for dressing like that. In this instance, he wore a mask even after COVID. <sighs> man. I mean, what do you even say about that, right? We're getting all sorts of evidence that points in all different directions, right? He shot at the former president, trying to kill the former president of the United States. So in a sense, by definition, it's political, right? You can't say it's totally apolitical. If it's totally apolitical, he didn't try to assassinate Susan and Bob from down the street. The guy, he didn't try to kill the guy who works at the local Wegmans. No, he went after the former president. So it's by definition political. But at the same time, then you hear stuff like this and everything sort of matches up with like the standard, uh, absolutely psychotic, lone nut, uh, depressive, anxious type person, right? Also, keep it real, um, young, white male, socially awkward. It all fits, right? It all fits. Now, but again, I have to give you more. See, see, this is what I'm saying with the evidence pointing in like 14 different directions. Here's this. Look at this. So more information came out about his politics. Um, so one of his classmates did not recall Crooks making political overtures in class, but rather as someone interested in how government works and, quote, not trying to insert his own beliefs into it. OK, another former class classmate did not share this view. By the way, this is from the Philadelphia Inquirer. Max R. Smith recalled taking an American history course with Crooks as a sophomore. He did recall Crooks making political statements, but they shed no light on his action Saturday, quote. He definitely was conservative, he said. It makes me wonder why he would carry out an assassination attempt on the conservative candidate. Smith recalled a mock debate in which their history professor posed government policy questions and asked students to stand on one side of the classroom or the other to signal their support or opposition for a given proposal. Quote, the majority of the class were on the liberal side, but Tom, no matter what, always stood his ground on the conservative side. That's still the picture I have of him, just standing alone on one side while the rest of the class was on the other. So in other words, according to one classmate, not only was he conservative, he was mega conservative. Okay, okay, so we're back to square one. Now, you know, in this article they say, well, this really doesn't shed light on the shooting because he shot a conservative candidate and he's conservative, so that doesn't really add up. Well, it does kind of add up if you view it from the perspective of uh, there's a whole group of like neo-Nazi types online who think Trump is a total sellout and he's way too moderate and he's sucking up all the right wing revolutionary energy to reinvest it back into the establishment. Right. And so, in other words, it's like this guy could have thought he ain't conservative enough. He ain't conservative enough. He's too moderate. He's a sellout. We got to go after him because he doesn't have pure enough uh, positions on, say, race politics, right? That's possible. It's possible we're looking at a Nazi type, a Groyper type, etc. Now, to be clear and to be fair, we would need evidence before we make that claim. Just hearing that he was conservative back in high school, that's not enough, right? So we would need further evidence. We would need validation from some social media thing or the Discord or whatever. We don't have that evidence right now. 
But what we're looking at right now, the options are either what I just described, far right guy, maybe Nazi type views and views Trump as a moderate and a sellout and tries to kill him, right? Very possibly it's that. The other possibility is classic, disturbed, crazy, lone nut type um, who probably should have been on medicine but wasn't, was bullied throughout his life, um, wasn't the best looking, didn't get attention from women, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I, I guess we can throw in there for good measure too. It's also possible that it's a plot bigger than what we're thinking and there is something fishy going on and other people are involved and who knows going down that path. But uh, we'll throw that in there as a small possibility as well. So those are the things that are on the menu, and this is what we know about this guy right now. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop, and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.